Hello or welcome back to my channel. My name is Joanne. I'm so glad that you are joining me. So we're going to talk about this a little bit later tonight in the live stream. But WorkSafe has charged the Victorian Health Department over the COVID hotel quarantine program. WorkSafe is the government department that goes in, particularly after accidents or incidences, and investigates and, discuss, and works out whether the workplace was actually safe. WorkSafe has actually fined the health department. This is, this is unbelievable. So the health and safety watchdog has charged Victoria's health department with 58 breaches of occup occupational health and safety in relation to the state's hotel quarantine program. WorkSafe alleges the Department of Health, formerly the Department of Health and Human Services, failed to provide safe working environments for its employees and put non-employees at risk. The charges relate to Opera Operation Soteria in the iteration of ho Hotel Quarantine, which ran in the state from March to July 2020 and was in place when infection control breaches led to the second deadly wave. So this so we need to just clarify, this is in relation to the, the second wave that we had last year because from that second wave, uh, procedures have actually improved and there's been lots of, um, lots of changes made since that time. Evidence of untrained private security guards, poor infection control, lack of oversight. The hotel quarantine program was ultimately shut down for months during the second wave and returned in December last year under a system, a new system of command. In a press release, WorkSafe detailed a list of alleged failures, including the department breached health and safety laws by failing to appoint infection control experts at hotels and failed to provide training or instructions for use of personal protective equipment. In all charges, WorkSafe alleges the Department of Health employees, Victorian government authorised officers on secondment or security guards would put at serious illness or death through contracting COVID-19 from an infected return traveller another person working in the hotels or from a contaminated surface, the organisation said. The maximum penalty for a body corporate for each of the charges is $1.64 million, meaning the department could be ultimately penalised more than $95 million. The complex investigation took 15 months to complete and involved reviewing tens of thousands of documents and multiple witness statements. An independent inquiry finalised last year found the private security guards overseeing return travellers should receive more training and supervision. WorkSafe said a review of that inquiry provided relevant context and information that informed parts of the investigation. The watchdog had been undertaking a number of investigations into hotel security firms and other departments and has now said it has been concluded. The matter is expected to be heard before the Melbourne Magistrates Court on October 22. The Victorian government spokesperson declined to comment while the matter was before the courts. Uh, Shadow Health Minister Georgie Cozier said Premier Daniel Andrews needed to explain why he was not being held accountable for the biggest workplace incident in the state's history. This has been a long investigation and after the tragedy that occurred last year, every Victorian wants to see some answers and they want people held accountable for that tragic loss. The devastation that occurred, not just the loss of lives, but the extended lockdown, the loss of business, the mental health impacts that have plagued Victorians. This has been a monumental failure by government, the biggest failure in government administration in the state's history, and the Premier and the ministers responsible need to be held accountable for their failures. Health Minister Jenny McCarkus resigned in September last year as the co-inquiry into the hotel quarantine system under hearing. So there's been an investigation. So what do you think? The Victorian government... So WorkSafe has, but it says written instructions for use of PPE were either failed or initially failed to be provided to workers. Coming to it's you also, fresh from home. With new life. Um, WorkSafe questioned whether the department failed to update written instructions on the use of face masks at several of the hotels. The decision to prosecute has been made in accordance with WorkSafe's general prosecution guidelines which requires WorkSafe to consider whether there is sufficient evidence to support a reasonable prospect of conviction and whether bringing prosecution is in the public interest. Inquiries into other entities associated with this investigation, including hotels, 
security firms and other government departments and agencies have been concluded. So in this one, opposition leader Matthew Guy said it was observed taxpayers could be forced to pay for the potential fines. So a government authority work cover will file charges against the government department health for faults of government ministers, but the government taxpayers will ultimately pay fines, he wrote. That's observed, absurd. So coronavirus outbreaks at Melbourne Ridges on Swanson and Stanford Plaza Hotel where, where return travellers were being quarantined led to 99% of Victoria's second wave of COVID-19 cases and 801 deaths. The bungled $195 million program sparked an inquiry where retired Judge Jennifer Cote said in her final report that no one took ownership for the decision to use private guards instead of better trained personnel. She said police would have been better been a better cohort than private guards. The Department of Health had been contacted. So that's, that's it. There was an investigation. Nobody took responsibility. Nobody knew who made the decision to use private security firms rather than police. Police are now involved, is my understanding. I can tell you when I worked uh, in the quarantine program for the tenants, we had to do a whole day's training on PPE. We actually had somebody that stood there and watched us put the PPE on and take it off. So there have definitely been improvements uh, since then, and I believe that they are continually improving the system to make everybody safe. But tell me, what do you think? Wow, what a explosive finding. And what do you think? Yes, the Victorian taxpayers are screwed either way. <laughs> We're screwed. <laughs> We're screwed either way, really. But tell me what you think in the comments below. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on this and I'll catch you later. Bye for now.